Hi, I'm Ruchi Gupta. I'm a professor of pediatrics at Northwestern Feinberg School of Medicine and the director for the Center for Food Allergy and Asthma Research. I'm here to talk to you today about anaphylaxis. Now, anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that can progress rapidly and can be life-threatening. It's really important to know the symptoms of anaphylaxis as it can impact any organ system. So let's start with the skin. You can often get hives, redness, itching, throat tightening, and go into your lungs. You can have tight, tightness of your chest and trouble breathing and wheezing, uh, GI. You can have vomiting, cramping, cardiovascular. You can have a drop in blood pressure, feeling faint and dizzy. Now, it's so important to recognize what's happening when you're having an allergic reaction. And if you feel like it is progressing rapidly or you know, having the trouble breathing or the dizziness, it is so important to understand that you may be experiencing anaphylaxis and give yourself an epinephrine autoinjector. An epinephrine autoinjector comes in many, many different um, brands, but you always administer them into the lateral thigh and hold it there for anywhere from two to five seconds. Now, the other very important thing to do if you think you're experiencing anaphylaxis and you're with others is to have someone help you get help. So call 911, get you to an emergency room, even if after administering epinephrine, you're feeling better. The other important thing to note is you should always carry two epinephrine autoinjectors because you may need a second one if your symptoms continue to progress. Now, why is it important to get to an emergency room? Because many times, if you have anaphylaxis, you can experience another reaction within the first about eight hours. So it's important to be observed and for that second reaction. Um, again, not everyone does, but it's important to get to an emergency room and have that care. Some of the common causes of anaphylaxis include a food allergy, and some of the most common foods include peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, finfish, soy, wheat, egg, milk, and sesame. Other causes of anaphylaxis can include a bee sting, also medications. And finally, you could experience some of these symptoms and not know what the culprit is. We call that idiopathic uh, anaphylaxis. The other very important thing to understand is if you think you're experiencing anaphylaxis, you need to get to an allergist to get proper diagnosis. An allergist, once you see them, will take a great history, do some testing, and confirm if you do truly have one of these conditions that could cause anaphylaxis and get you a management plan along with teach you how and when to use that epinephrine auto-injector. You can find more information on how to find an allergist on the Quad AI website.